How do we keep holy spaces holy? One of the ways is we are careful about what we let in and what we let out. And we have a lot of authority about what we let out this way and what we let out this way in our worlds. But then we also have power and authority about what we let in and what we give a home in our own heart, in our own gut, in our own thinking. We have the privilege of being on this property where there have been conscious choices made about how the land would be handled, how the buildings would be cared for, how people would be with each other. That's allowing something to emerge in a collective of people so that there might be an increased knowing of what's possible. Because I know, I'm still having the experience that I've forgotten some of the things that are possible in being a human being because Either no one knew that it was possible, someone told me it was impossible, or it hasn't been, we haven't moved into that arena yet where something amazing can happen because somebody's saying yes over a consistent period of time. I find consistency in saying yes does change something. If, if you say it once, it um, doesn't mean a whole lot. If you say it twice, it's, you're getting better at it. But if you say it every morning when you wake up, I'm going to say yes to the primal spirituality that is my design and reveal it in my living. If you say that on a daily basis, you start becoming aware of things that are natural but a little unfamiliar. I know that that requires a certain care about the atmosphere in which you live in and the um, tone in which you speak to someone and also the accuracy of the words you speak because sometimes we say things and we have to go back and say, well, I guess I was wrong about that. <laughs> Am I the only person who's still doing that in their life? I was wrong. I'm sorry, I was wrong. And, and I don't even feel like it's a big deal anymore because I've said it a hundred times, if not a thousand. I'm wrong about that, and I'm okay about being wrong as long as I can go back and say, I was wrong about that. And I look forward to being more right, more accurate, more clear, more loving. In the experience of emerging as a self, one has to pay attention to what's possible in the divine design of how things are supposed to be. And then we could be the means by which something gets manifest of that design through the human experience as an individual and as a collective. So I'm looking at the possibility of holding the invisible, the possible, the design that's already present. And when that energy comes, and it will keep coming because it's still in the world and it's in me and it's in all my friends, we still have unfinished things in ourselves. When it comes to be in the authority of, I'm okay, I'm here, I came for this, I can do this, and I will not run and I will not be moved. I will be transformed, but I'm not running away from this. So we get to maintain a container and where we can do that kind of work and allow each other to do it in our presence. How wonderful it is to be surrounded by people interested in grace and holding each other as they're going through that. Because having a friend hold you when you're making a mistake or something like that comes out and they're not running away and they're loving you anyway and they're seeing the perfection of what's happening, that is what I'm really interested in in doing together with a collective group of people. Not faking it, not pretending like all the people who come to Sunrise Ranch are spiritually mature and have done all their work and we're going to be perfect little people together. When's that going to happen? I mean, I've been here 30 years. I'm still waiting. Probably people are still waiting on me too. But I still have my things. Your mind is supposed to be a place where enlightened thinking happens. Can you treat your mind as a holy temple? You can, but it's a choice. And it does require some, some care about what you let in and what you let out. And how you protect the atmosphere, not from things not going crazy or wonky, but that holy things can be maintained so that the container gets more and more powerfully holy. And when something wonky comes in you, you have a way to deal with it because you've got this incredible container. And when you're doing it with another person, the container is larger and more powerful. <coughs> 